Welcome back, everybody. Now we have Antoine Gagal, who's going to be doing her second talk of the weekend. And she'll be discussing her amazing research into pyramids on Mauritius and Sicily, and also briefly on Tenerife as well, discovering some amazing sites that really aren't part of the current megalithic map of the planet. You saw her talk, amazing talk yesterday about Giza. And so today she's going to be moving into different parts of the world with this awesome research. So thank you very much. So please give a warm welcome to Antoine Gigal. So this is my website. I repeat from yesterday for the people who are not there yesterday gigalresearch.com and my other website is gizaforhumanity.org My research is mainly in Egypt but with my team gizaforhumanity.org we are in research of other pyramids worldwide so I went to Sicily in 29. This is a map, a set map, satellite map of Sicily. And what you see there is the true eruption of the volcano Etna. You can see how incredible it is. I went to Sicily because I saw pictures made by a photograph of small pyramids in Sicily, about 12 little pyramids. And I decided to go there in research of those pyramids. In reality, I never saw those 12 pyramids. I discovered 23 completely other different pyramids. <laughs> and all the pyramids were built around the volcano Etna. And this is very important, as you will see, because, you know, volcano eruptions are a thing of today, and we have to understand why the ancients built pyramids all around this volcano. So those are the pictures the photograph, the Italian photograph did. There you have four different pyramids. You have there and there Sicilian pyramids, and there you have Tenerife pyramids, and there Mauritius pyramids. It's to show you that it is the same in very different places. You have to know that in Sicily you had a very ancient history and prehistory because you have the caves of Adaura near Palermo and this is dating 6,000 to 8,000 before Christ with incredible drawings. This is a place of the caves. You have also the caves of Pantelica. And then you have a lot of monuments dating from the ancient Greeks, as Segesta, theater, temples, everywhere in the south of and north of Sicily, Agrigento. So where, who were the first Sicilians? You had three peoples, mainly in prehistoric time in Sicily. The first, the Sicans, 3000 before Christ, uh, and the proto sicans They were named Sicans because the Sica is a Chalcedony from their tools in Neolithic times. They were installed in autonomous confederations, and they were mainly about agriculture, and they mixed it with the Christians and the Mycenaeans. 
Then you have the report of this Christian historian, Thucydides. He wrote a lot about the Sicans. Then you have, so the Sicans are in the middle, from the middle of Sicily. Then you have the Siculi on the west side, Around 1400 BC, migrations, so it is more recent, migrations from Calabria and Italia, the Italy is there, so they came there and they arrived there. <coughs> and uh, Siculi gave the name to C Sicily, in fact. But what is important is that the Siculi came from Orient, and the professor Enrico Caltagirone and Alfredo Rizza determined that inside Sicilian language, you have more than 200 words of Sanskrit. Then you have the third population, the Elimians. Oh, sorry. <laughs> In the map before, Elimians at the east, at the west, sorry. The elements were migrants from Anatolia, belonging to the famous Sea Peoples. And you have also thesis saying that they were refugees from Troia, and groups of Trojans took refuge in Sicily, mixing themselves to the Sicans. After that, you have the Phoenician, the Carthaginians came to colonize uh, Sicily and the others in the Ionian Sea. There you can see the earliest foreign trade and migrations in Sicily coming from Orient, going to Sicily. Migration from Turkey, migration from Lebanon, and migration from Italy and well, so a big mix of population. This is the west of Sicily, where you had the Elimians population from Troya. Now we come back to the Etna volcano. You see, it's a huge volcano. 165 kilometers, the, the red. So the name Etna is coming from Aitne, Etna, and it had, has uh, different names. In Italian, they said Montebello. This is in Sicilian. In, in Sicilian. Sicilian language is different from Italian. It means the white mount, because it's covered with snow all the year. So you can see there the volcano, one uh, 3,350 meters high, and the crater is half a kilometer large. This is ancient depicting, depiction of eruption this is an eruption in 1679 of the capital, the, the big city at the feet of the Etna, which is Catania. And you can see there the two craters and the lava coming to the town. This is a stratovolcano very very dangerous. Ancient depiction again of the catastrophe. This is from the top, you can see the snow inside the crater. So 700,000 years before Catania was the city was covered by water.